So I am out here at the fifth wheel, about to hitch it up. I am doing a few modifications to the landing gear on the front. To be honest with you guys, I probably should have just gotten the auto leveling system and waited for the unit to come in with it versus buying one without. Our next fifth wheel is definitely gonna be equipped with auto leveling because I absolutely understand the convenience of having such a system. Anyways, guys, I am using my backup camera, the high mount center backup camera that is above the bed to help position the truck with the kingpin. Even though I trust the camera, I still always go out and check right before the point of hitching up, just to be safe. Perfect. So I don't have the leveling system on my vehicle and I'm gonna be installing some components that don't necessarily make up for auto leveling, but will definitely help. First, I got a couple of these pads on Amazon. They are to go underneath your landing gear when you're in an RV park. I have several of these already, but they're a little smaller, these right here. And I use these as well, but I prefer these larger ones, so I bought a couple of these on Amazon. They weren't very expensive, and they're just made out of a really, really hard rubber material but they're about an inch thick. So what I'm gonna be doing today primarily is replacing the landing gear feet with these new nine inch round pads. So if you have a level up system or an auto leveling system, you probably have pads like this already on it, but it is a much better platform for stability and it's gonna look nicer. Plus the reason why I'm going with a round pad is also, because I got this little contraption. So this is to help you level an RV that does not have auto leveling. It would probably even work on an RV with auto leveling. But the main reason why I got this is whenever you're dropping these landing gear down, if you're on uneven terrain, or if one of them with those little inch spacer adjustment blocks doesn't have the space needed to properly level your rig right off the bat, you end up putting blocks underneath your landing gear feet. This actually slides up into the bottom of the post here, the leg, and gives you the ability to make micro adjustments by screwing in or unscrewing this piece. And if I put it on with that original foot, it would look awkward, of course, being at different angles whenever I'm screwing it in or out. Whereas these feet are round, so whenever I use them, it's not gonna matter because again, they're round and you really won't know. So first thing I need to do is lift the feet off the ground. I have the fifth wheel already hitched up to the truck and I'm gonna lift the landing gear. Now you don't have to get the landing gear too high off the ground. That's not really the purpose. Really all you're trying to do is get them off the ground period so you can retract them into the, uh, the upper part of the leg. Okay, now that I have the foot spaced about an inch off the ground, I'm just gonna pull these out and slide them up. Now I will need to remove the pins holding this strong arm kit in place. Otherwise, I won't be able to put the insert into this tube. Now I will have to reposition the strong arms up a little higher when I reinstall them because this only has the one hole up here for this bolt to go through. So once this is in place, I won't have any room to put the strong arm bolt through here and I'll have to position it up just a little higher than the other side. So this is a 9 16 inch bolt with nut and just need to tighten this in place. Okay, that's tight. Now I need to reattach the strong arm. So the way you release it, you just loosen this bolt right here and this will slide in and out and give you the room you need to reposition it.
when you put this piece on the end to cover the threads and also to lock that in place. So once you have this on and it's just barely snug against that, you back this nut off just a hair and it will tighten up against this piece. There you go. All right, so what I've essentially done here is put this piece here that now gives me the ability to make these micro adjustments. The feet attach even quicker than all that. So the feet simply have this little pass-through hole here. I take the pin out, put the foot inside. And put the pin back in. And that's it. So now I have the ability to make micro adjustments here, which is really convenient. So I can of course still lift the foot up and clear it off the ground. Now this piece will rock a little bit, but that's not that big of a deal. And a lot of people are going to say, well, could that just unwind while it's coming out? They actually made a little pinch in the bolt, so even if it unwinds completely, it won't allow the bolt to actually come off. That's pretty cool. These things have really good reviews, by the way. There are two different models of this. One is made by a different company. Apparently, it's a much cheaper design, and this is a much stronger design. I will put the link in the description of this video so you can know where to pick this up. Time to do the other side. Now this side is even easier because I don't have to unfasten the JT strong arms. All I have to do is take the pin out, drop the foot, and put the new foot on. Again, same process. Slide this into place, push the pin through. I use the same pin. I'm actually gonna go on the other side and put this pin back on. It's galvanized and it is easier to release. You don't have to worry about that small pin coming out. So let's drop these down. Now I have the ability with this to unscrew it slightly and make some micro adjustments. So let's put it right there. Very nice. So that's it guys. It's really just that simple. If you have JT strong arms, it adds one extra step. You have to remove just that one side, but that is really nice. Just the fact that you can make those little adjustments can help you level out your rig much quicker and more conveniently. I'm really satisfied with the results of this. Again, I will put the link in the description to where you can get all these components if you are interested in doing it to your fifth wheel. My next fifth wheel will have auto leveling, so I won't need to do this, but there's a lot of fifth wheel owners out there that don't have auto leveling, and this is a very affordable, inexpensive way to add a little bit of micro leveling capability that you've probably been looking for at some point.
Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you soon.